Corruption at the Fayette County Prison. Seven people are accused of conspiring to bring drugs into the prison. Ross Gadotti got the details of a grand jury probe and why the investigation is not over yet. Ross. The charges handed out today are wide ranging, involve a lot of people to include corrections officers as well as administrative staff at the Fayette County Prison. Fayette County District Attorney Rich Bauer announcing today the results of a grand jury investigation into allegations of criminal activity inside the Fayette County Jail. When we started this, we never had any clue how deep the corruption was that we were going to find. While some 30 individuals faced charges stemming from the grand jury, it was a small cadre of corrections officers and even a deputy warden who were at the center of the inquiry. Michael Zavada was the deputy warden at the Fayette County Prison. Scott Bush and Chad Busey are presently correctional officers at the Fayette County Prison. The allegations against these men and others include bribery, threats to attorneys and judges, obstruction of the law, theft and profiting off contraband and drugs being allowed into the Fayette County lockup. The kinds of drugs that we're talking about in these cases are K2, which is synthetic marijuana, marijuana, Suboxone and Xanax. Some of the others facing charges include Keith Bradshaw and his mother. Bradshaw is charged with the murder of William Stewart in Connellsville. Also charged Randy Smithberger, who's awaiting trial on pushing a child in a stroller, falling into a creek all while drunk, and then fighting a state trooper. Smithberger's girlfriend, Heather Nicole Cornish, is now also facing criminal charges as a result of this inquiry. I'd like to be able to say that the investigations are finished. However, they are not. A lot of these suspects are already in jail because they were inmates to begin with. The others are expected to turn themselves in. Rich Bauer making it clear at the end of this press conference that he anticipates the uh, United States Attorney General to start looking at his their own set of investigations based on the one that he, of course, announced today. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.